So this building here has a good decent mob spawn inside. Oh, so you can just use it on the I changed out my turret for this gun. Basically, there'll be loads of little mobs and uh, an elite. So the elite will drop something blue, which is be good. Yeah, generally leave. There are elites in here, so we'll just take our time. So we can do with another scan. Oh, here we go. Something blue drop. Panning? Yeah, below us. Coming up. I mean, everyone can hear us fighting them, but um, you, I think you can check in your inventory now. Mm -hmm. My DZ inventory full. Mm. Yeah, but you can uh, deconstruct some items if you wanted. 
to make space. That's why you be careful on the voice chat and that, because <laughs> we've got all these gold items. Oh, right, not. so if you follow me, we'll take ourselves out. There's quite a few different ways in and out of this world. And all of them quite as glaring as this. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's a nice effect. Gorgeous. Uh, I'll run around the side because it's better to go that in. So we're going to go to extraction zone. Uh, only four people attract any, so it can get there. One of the issues you have is because only four people can extract, we need to be near it when, when it goes, otherwise there'll another group coming out of the system. Agent, I am inbound on your position. It's about 50 seconds. And you want to be this side of the board, so there's another guy here. Uh, no. So you want to be. Yeah, yeah you want to be this side because this is where the, the rope will be roughly here, but just spread out a bit because um, someone can just throw a grenade on us there. So he's got a loot thing, so you could think ah, he wants to extract as well, so fine. But sometimes the NPCs will spawn just as it arrives and stuff like that, so it gets a bit hectic, so check your fire ain't it. So as soon as it's attached, you just leave. You know, 